and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're delving into a topic that might surprise some or confirm the suspicions of others. The five top unfriendliest cities provided by Google 2024. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or just curious, these cities might make you think twice before traveling. But remember, whilst these cities might have a reputation for being unfriendly, every city has its own unique charm. So let's dive straight into the video. Kicking off our list at number five is the city that never sleeps. The USA, New York City. Despite its landmarks and its diverse culture, the NYC is often criticized for its fast pace of life, which can feel cold and impersonal to newcomers. And this is something that I vaguely experienced on the video we did in New York. If you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, go and check that out. I'll be made up to see you over there. The hustle and bustle means that New Yorkers are always in a rush, leading to a reputation for being brusque and quite rude. And add to that the high cost of living, because it is extremely expensive in New York. Crowded public transport and a competitive atmosphere. And this is something that you can feel whilst in New York. It is extremely prevalent. But don't let that deter you. Because because New York has some fantastic things to do, like trying some New York pizza, New York hot dogs, New York donuts, and some of their amazing landmarks and architecture. It's an absolutely fantastic city to visit. And I do highly recommend if you have the opportunity to go to New York, go and navigate around that unfriendliness because there is some good fun and good experiences to be had. There are millions of reasons why people still love the Big Apple. And coming in at number four is Paris, France. Now, before we get into this one, we are actually going to France. I say we, I always travel alone. I'm going to France, Paris, a week today, a week from filming this video. So look out for that episode. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification so you don't miss out on that episode and I'll soon find out if France, Paris is one of the most unfriendliest cities in the world. While Paris is renowned for its art, fashion and romance, it's also infamous for its less than welcoming attitude towards foreigners. And many visitors report encounters with French locals that are not so pleasant due to just the language barriers, you know, due to just not being able to speak French. The city also has a reputation of being snobbish and this isn't helped by high prices and the sometimes overwhelming crowds at public events or major attractions. However, if you are willing to take the time to learn some French and explore beyond the tourist traps, you might discover a different side to Paris and this is something that I am hoping to do on my visit to Paris and it will be my first visit to Paris walking round. I've been to the airport on layover to Italy before but never ever walked around Paris so it'll be somewhat of an eye opener for myself and I hope that when that video comes out you join us over there. And coming in at number three is Mother Russia. <laughs> it's Moscow, Russia. Now, Russia is a place that I really, really want to get to in the near future. And I hope that when it, the time comes for me to experience that place, I don't come across too many unfriendly people. The city is steeped in history, but not exactly known for its warmth, both literally and figuratively. The harsh climate mirrors the often cold and distant demeanors of the residents, and visitors frequently mention the unfriendly attitude and encounters or when in customer service environments. Political tensions and language barriers can often lead to tourists feeling a little bit vulnerable and a sense of unease. Despite this though, Moscow offers a stunning range of architecture and rich history, but you might need thick skin to enjoy your visit. And at number two, on the list is Beijing, China. China's sprawling capital. Beijing can be an overwhelming experience for many due to its size, pollution, and its sheer number of population. The city's rapid development has led to a fast-paced lifestyle that many find unfriendly. If you've been to any of these countries, let me know in the comments if this is true. 
and what has your experience been? I'd love to know because very, very soon I will be visiting all of the countries on this list. And when it comes to Beijing, China, the language barrier can be quite a challenge as well. With many visitors struggling to communicate, which can be quite frustrating, not just for the tourists, but for the residents of the country as well. And on top of that, cultural differences in manners and personal space can often make Western tourists feel quite uncomfortable or out of place. However, Beijing's historical sites are just breathtaking and with a rich, vibrant culture, it's definitely worth a visit if you're up for the challenge. And coming in at number one is Cairo, Egypt. Despite being home to one of the world's most famous ancient civilizations, Cairo has a reputation for being particularly challenging for tourists. The chaotic traffic and the street vendors, sometimes with aggressive, pushy, haggling tactics that can feel quite overwhelming, can really make a foreign tourist feel uncomfortable and generally just feel unfriendly. The city's infrastructure struggles to keep up with its ever-growing population, leading to frequent pollution and noise issues. While the history and culture is fascinating, Cairo's fast-paced, and somewhat overwhelming atmosphere has earned it the top spot on this list. As per Google, I haven't made this up. I've Googled this, Google spit it out at me, and then I've read around the subject and I've written a little, little bit, researched a little bit, and I've put together this video. Now, don't take my word for it. I don't take Google's word for it. Get on a plane and get to these places and see with your own eyes. Because recently I've been to Iraq and if you go back and you check out some of them videos, and again, there'll be links in the descriptions and I'll pop some up on the screen on the bottom here. You can go and take a look. I was absolutely blown away by the treatment I got from the lovely people of Iraq, Baghdad. And sometime soon, I'm going to be doing a big Middle Eastern tour and getting to all these countries and bring into your screens, from my perspective, what life's like. And so there you have it, five most unfriendliest cities in 2024. And each of these cities has its own challenges, but that doesn't mean not worth visiting, like we've just said. Often the key is just to understand and respect and absorb the local culture and be prepared for the differences and just embrace. So what about you? Have you visited any of these countries? Earlier on in the video, I asked you to comment if you have. So please do drop a comment. I love reading your comments and getting back to you. And I try to reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. Guys and girls, should I say. And just let me know, did you have a different experience to what I've read out today? Because again, it's all about perspective. It's all about how you tackle a situation. You can go to a place and you can find the bad if you're looking for it. And there's always good everywhere you go. And if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And also, you may see below the absolutely crackers merch. If you want to help the channel out and you've got a spare few pounds, go and grab one of them jumpers or t-shirts or a cup and take a picture and DM, tag me on Instagram and let me know. And there might be uh, some type of a, a reward or a prize for you. I'd really be super happy if I see someone wearing one of my jumpers. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.